Hi, this is Nee from Trifocus Fit, where faith, fitness and life comes together. And welcome to Fitness Talk. In Fitness Talk, I speak about things to do with fitness in an easy to understand language, not using the fitness industry language as much as possible, but working towards making it easy for you to understand those words without feeling that you've been confused. And today I'm talking about macronutrients, macro nutrients and you'll have heard these words many times spoken either on the radio on the television through social media on the internet and so on and you probably what are macronutrients if someone's hearing about macronutrients macronutrients are very very simple they are the basis the building block of all our nutrition they are what we have turned when we were in secondary school or primary school we will have been taught in our food technology lesson or in home economics and we will have used words such as carbohydrates and protein and fat and that yes that is essentially the macronutrients and it's very very important for us to understand it so when somebody's talking to you I'm like oh how's your macro which is what most of us use in the fitness industry we don't we abbreviate it and just say how are you doing with your macros are you getting the proper um, combination of your macros and so you so you can understand that so when I am talking to you and I'm talking about something to do with macronutrients I might use macro so you understand that so basically we're talking today about carbohydrates protein and fat and in subsequent issues I'm gonna break them down and look at each one of them individually right the first thing is this whether you want to lose weight or whether you want to gain weight whether you want to put muscle on or whether you don't want to put muscle on you still need to eat and what you need to eat takes its bearing its foundation is from the macros so how much carbohydrate that you need to eat how much protein you need to eat how much fat that should be on your plate now there are so many debates and concepts and ideas about what you need to eat the key thing that you need to understand first and foremost is, is that each of those macros, they have their own specific role that they play. They all interlink, they work together, and in many of them, they are not just essentially just one block where, oh, if I eat something, I can only get carbs from them. In many of our food, if you take example, let me give you an example. If you take sweet potato, Sweet potato, you would have assumed that it would just give you carbs, but you actually have protein in it as well. So there's a lot of interplay between each food group. So carbs, protein, fat, in many cases, they all come together as package. And how you put them on your plate is the most essential part of it. So when you're planning your nutrition plan when you're putting together a nutrition plan for yourself or maybe someone's putting it together for you or maybe a nutritionist is working with you they'll be looking at the amount of macros that you will need they'll be looking at especially how amount of carbs that you need how amount of fat that you need how amount of protein that you need in most cases the most of the emphasis will always be on your carbs and your protein with limited amount of fat yeah? Because if you, especially if you're trying to lose weight, the less amount of fat that you have in your nutrition, the better it is. But you still need it because they all have their own functions. And when I discuss that later, you understand the reason why it's very, very important for you to still have some fat in your food. So depending on your level of activity as well will determine how much carbs or protein or fat that you need. Well, for example, if you're someone who's extremely active, you need to make sure that you're getting your carbs in because your carbs give you the energy that you need. Your protein will help to repair your muscle and also help uh, initiate muscle growth. And your fat will also provide you with another source of energy. So it's very, very important for us to understand that, that each one of them play a role. But what I don't want you to be, uh, want you to be afraid of is to be afraid of a specific macro because you could see, you say, oh, some people say, oh, low carb or high carb, or I don't want to do high carb, I don't want to do low carb, I want to do high protein or low protein stuff when you develop a better understanding of what each one of them do and how much they will impact you depending on your level of a bit of activity then you will know what you need to have the nutritionist will look at you and they will discuss with you especially if you come to me and you ask me what should you be eating and I'm gonna be saying to you what is your level of activity what is your age 
what is your level of activity, what your gender will be important because gender uh, is to do with hormones in many cases. So, so we'll have a look at all of that and then we will then design a meal plan or a nutrition plan for you based on that. If I know that you are extremely active and you're burning calories big time, then your macro level, the amount of macro that you need that I'm going to be planning for your carbs, your protein and your fat will be different from somebody that I know is potentially or more or less sedentary doesn't do a lot because that's sometimes that's where we make the mistake. Some people think I can eat the same as the same person who is uh, active. If you're sedentary, which is you're not burning a lot during the day, you're not moving around a lot, maybe your job doesn't allow you to move around a lot, you need to be very, very careful of the amount of macro that you eat. Whereas if you're someone who does a lot of moving around, you do a lot of sports, you play football, soccer, um, basketball, rugby, tennis, you need much more. And so it depends. So it becomes very, very important for us to understand that. And that is what I'm trying to put across to you today that yes, the amount of macro that you got. Now, now, now let me put it this way. Understand what macros are, what their roles are, how much do you need of each one of them. And understand that in many cases there's an interplay or an into, interconnected role between all of them. So they don't necessarily stand on their own. And when you're putting them on your plate as well, you need to put the right amount on your plate to eat, to fuel your body. If you put the wrong amount in and you're not doing a lot, then you don't get the desired result or you might end up becoming bigger than you wanted to. But if you're eating it rightly, then you should be able to maintain a diet that will keep you the way that you want to. However, if you're trying to lose weight, then you still need to consider how much micro I should have on my plate. Now, I hope that's giving you a bit of inkling, a little idea of what macros are. And on my next topic, when I'm talking to you, I'm going to start talking about each one of those macros so that you understand what they are. But in the meantime, I'm going to advise you with this. Train well, eat well. Stay strong, spirit, soul, and body. Keep looking after the body that God has given you and try to develop an understanding of what everything entails. Yeah? So God bless you. God keep you. And until our next time, I say to you, peace.